Hi, my name's Troy McClure. I think Cafe Nero may be my favourite coffee, like high street coffee. Ladies and gents, welcome to this Men's Summer 2021 style guide slash my Bayer clothes haul. You may or may not want to take some advice from me with what to wear this summer on your holidays. And you are going away. Our lives are not going to be based on a fucking traffic light system, okay? If it's amber, you're off. If it's green, you're off. If it's red, maybe think about it. But if it's amber or green, you're off. I'm sick of it, I'm done. And Gove can fuck off as well. Got pinged on track and trace. Oh, let me implement this pilot scheme whereby I test myself daily. Well, I'll, I'll do that, shall I then? If I go to my bar and I'll come back, I'll do it daily. Mugs, the lot of them. Anyway, I'm gonna take you through sort of shoes, accessories, shirts, t-shirts, shorts, so sit back, grab yourself a coffee, maybe a Cafe Nero. Cafe Nero today had just the most unbelievable, I'm dieting by the way, most unbelievable pastries and uh, my mouth was watering. So let's get straight into it. We'll start with like accessories and sunglasses. Now, I'm not a huge jewelry guy, I must admit. I'm just like a, a watch. I used to wear the little bangles and the rings. Remember back in the day in Top Man when we all, all used to wear those Jesus bracelets? But I'm not a huge jewellery guy. However, there's a few pieces here that I'll be wearing like an open shirt. So I went on to Craft London, big up Mr. Alex Cannon. What a guy, man. We talk about style, that man has absolutely nailed it. So Craft London are brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Also, congratulations for securing that McGregor gig. That's good, isn't it? McGregor wearing a piece of your... Uh, piece of jewellery. So I've got a few pieces now. It is vital if you are wearing some form of open shirt and want to, to wear some jewellery to layer. You don't want to just have one necklace with an open shirt. It looks a little bit odd. So it's key to kind of have two or three pieces. So what I've got here is the compass set, which is really nice. And that comes with a separate Connell's chain. And I've also got the Cupid, which is really nice as well. And when I say layered, you almost want the effect whereby it kind of starts up here and down here. You don't want them kind of just all one length. So if you can, as best as possible, layer it. So as for, for jewelry, that's all I'm gonna be really rocking this year along with the watch. And if you are, if you do have a watch, then try and pick out the colors within the watch for your jewelry. If you're wearing a silver watch, then probably go with, with a, a silver necklace or like a silver bangle. Don't mix match it. It tends to look a, a little bit weird, but that's Craft London. If you want to go and check those guys out, they're very, very good. Now onto sunglasses. Now sunglasses, it differs between person to person due to obviously their face. So uh, I, I tend to prefer, especially when I diet down, thankfully I've got a little bit of oosh, oosh going on. I've got, also got a very hefty nose. Big old, you see it, in, see it in the other camera, that's a big Roman Moore nose that is. The, the benefit of having a big nose is that you can wear big sunglasses because it kind of takes it away a little bit. So I tend to opt for slightly thicker frames as well. These Gucci pairs, I've had these Aviator Gucci's since I think Tenerife, so since sort of 2016. Of course they're a little pricey, but again it's an investment and they're good quality. And the particular style that 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 uh, turtle shell has, it seems to have been in every summer. Again, with the, the Dolce & Gabbana, the kind of, that kind of douche style tends to, to fit quite nicely. A few years ago, you had that particular style where, um, if you remember, kind of brands had that, uh, that wiry effect. I think these are the ones. Remember this sort of style? They had the kind of, with the wire across. So if you've got like a quite a nice straight-ish face, a jawline, then opt for something like that kind of fits that and it kind of sits on your face well. If you are wearing aviators, I would always recommend a slightly thicker frame. I think the aviators that are just pure like wire look a little bit too top gun. Uh, again, the, the kind of the in-between would be just to have like quite a thick top shelf here and then a wiry kind of eyepiece. When I'm fat, when I'm chunkier, I tend to not wear those and go for like a circular pair like these. I've got these from Depop just on a, on, a, on a Depop site. And these are my raving sunglasses that I wear every rave. 
for John Lennon. So when I'm on a slightly chunkier side, I'll wear like a sort of spherical, just because my face looks a bit chipmunky. But uh, again, Tom Ford's a decent. You can just, you know, even like Zara and, and places like that that kind of imitate those uh, those bigger brands that are absolutely fine. So that's that's sort of accessories really. It's the jewelry, it's the sunglasses. We can go on to footwear. Obviously footwear is gonna be very much based on the particular outfit you're wearing. So those that follow me on Instagram, I tend to wear a lot of trousers when on holiday, so like decent fitting trousers and with that I'll wear a sandal. So I've got the, the Louis Vuitton Honolulu, a really nice investment. Again, uh, quite versatile. Black trousers are gonna always gonna be quite hard with sandals or shoes. So the new Birkenstocks are really nice. These all black, all black Birkenstocks are fantastic if you want to use them. If you're wearing shorts, then try to get quite a fitted short. If you're wearing Birkenstocks or, or this particular style with baggy shorts, it looks a little bit sort of like retired teacher slash gardener. So I try and get a fitted pair of shorts. We'll come on to shorts. Here are a few new items that I got from Dr. Dr. Martins. Now, those watching this or gents watching this are probably gonna be on the slightly bigger side. I would recommend with shoe wear to match that and, and get a slightly thicker, chunkier sole. I think it looks a little bit weird when the bigger gents wear a, a kind of quite narrow, flimsy shoe. It's a bit of an odd, you know, when you look at it, it's a bit of an odd look. So I've been after a pair of these kind of Aztec Gladiator shoes for a while. And a lot of the trousers I wear tend to kind of have a lot of ankle, or quite high cut. So something like that is, is absolutely perfect. Again, this is the thing with fashion, isn't it? And people are gonna like it, people, are, people aren't gonna like it. I've had a few comments on these, but then I'll go and click on the individual who tried to mug these off and they're wearing super dry. Okay, so. So there are the Geraldo, Geraldo. And these are the slightly lower cut ones with the stereotypical Dr. Martin stitching. So you could get away with wearing some uh, nice trousers or shorts with them. So a couple couple sandals, like I said, the Birkenstocks are, are just as good as well. And they would be paired with a, a slightly more smarter trouser. If you're looking for that kind of more casual vibe, so maybe like an untucked t-shirt set, then a mallet, the mallets are, are, are always a, a strong choice. The Android Homs, again, really nice on that kind of smart cash side. You've also got the axles, you've got Stellas as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's about it for for shoes. Let's work our way up, let's, let's talk shorts. Now, these are a couple pieces from the boys over at Resolve, which are fantastic, very versatile within this particular style. You saw it in my previous video. You can wear this tucked in. You can wear these particular sets tucked in and then put on a nice sandal, or you can wear it tucked out and then like wear a trainer, for example. So it's fantastic. Very, very comfortable as well. A good bit of uh, airport attire if you wanted to. As you know, I'm a big, big fan of uh, Preview as well. Preview have got some really nice pastel colors at the moment. So this is the, this is the moss green. This is part of the Marbella Colossal. This will be my airport outfit. Any gingers watching this sort of color goes really well, as you can sort of see. So uh, this is a preview, this this uh, zip t-shirt. So I'm a large, I, I always go large in the preview bottoms and I go XL, extra large in the tops. On the topic of tops, I'm more in favor of a zip where possible. So here we have the XL moss green in a zip. I just think zips are a, a lot nicer. If you are gonna get like a crew, then make sure it's like thick or built up. Don't get any kind of bagginess going on. I think a baggy neck is is, uh, is not a good look. But uh, that's the preview kind of lounge wear. As for shorts, you may have seen these before. I'm a big fan of the kind of old school vintage look. So I've got a couple of pairs of Sergio Tacchini's. The feelers are fantastic. This is uh, a, a very much a case of you're gonna have to kind of match the, the top to the bottom. So 
you know if you're getting a red pair of feelers get a get the red polo or if you've got i've got a i've got a blue pair of sergio tacchini's or just try and pick out you know sometimes you can mix match i remember going to mykonos and i bought a green pair of sergio's and like a green polo from reese it just about went but it's quite hard like if you're pick if you're going to wear this then try and pick out a color so go for like a navy short here there's a sergio tacchini's we have some shorts from Reese as well. Went to Reese the other day. And Reese is a, a, another company that fit very well around the waist and also on the leg. So I've gone back down to like a 30, what are these, like a 32? And they fit perfectly. These are a cream. Cream and white jeans or cream and white trousers or shorts is very, very hard very very hard so we'll come on to t-shirts but that's a, a nice pair from reese and i'll be matching that with a, a couple of tops from jameson i think i've got them here again it's just about kind of pulling the colors from uh the jameson carters i've got two here so that's a, a nice cream pair from reese another company I'm, that i'm currently wearing in black that i absolutely love is the Ledu shorts and the reason why I love them is because they've got this stretchy fit. I, I like a lot of the preview trousers as well and they have that particular stretchy fit. Tasuti used to do them but I don't think they're in stock so you may have to order through the actual site itself but they're fantastic. Again, very similar to the guys at Resolve. You can wear these tucked or untucked, casual or smart, fantastic. They, the fit is really nice, it's, it, it's relatively high up. So it's not too baggy. Really, really nice short. Okay, that's pretty much it for shorts. Now on to trousers. Trousers, and then we'll finish with some polos and some shirts. I don't have everything here. I've got a, a few pieces coming from Percival, which you'll probably see in the My Bay vlog anyway. So on to trousers. I do, my favorite pair of trousers, my favorite pair of black trousers is the preview with the buckles on the side and it's a particular look that's been carried in for a lot of summers it's very very smart so i've got i've got kind of two different styles of trouser here from reese style number one put that up there style number one is like more so quite a, a suit a suit style trouser i don't know if it's picking up on the um picking up on on the camera here but it's a slightly smarter trouser there's not a huge amount of give but it goes for that high-waisted look, which is really nice. This is what I like about the Reese is the drop in, in the crotch area is really nice. So you can pull them up, get that kind of, like I said at the start, get that uh, that serpent kind of 1970s vibe, get a nice shirt with a little pocket in. Navy, we've got a similar st style here. However, it's more kind of, it's slightly more relaxed, but at the same time with the way that the buttons are and the particular cut, you can get away with wearing it on a night out. So we've got two different styles, as you can see. It's a slightly more stretchy, slightly more kind of relaxed look, but if paired with like a nice t-shirt or like a, a, a collared shirt, for example, you can still get away with it just because of the detail. But two different, two very similar, but two different style trousers. I do like Reese, big, big fan of Reese. Uh, I think I've got some shorts from them as well. So again, very similar to the kind of comparison between the, the Reese shorts and the Ledu. Very, very similar. Two different styles, one slightly more casual, one slightly more smart, but both, again, very versatile and can be used in different situations. Finally, let's wrap up with some polos. So James and Carter have got some really nice pieces this summer. We have this particular style, again, zip white cream really really nice vibe that would potentially go with potentially go with like a cream short or if you want to pick out a slightly darker short and then we have this top which again you could probably get away with wearing like a a white or a cream short just about or what i'd probably wear with those is a pair of black trousers and uh, the Dr. Martins or the Birkenstocks. The Percival, it's annoying that the Percival piece is on here because they had two really nice kind of knitwear polos which look really good. And finally I have from Preview, 
you'll probably notice a lot of brands in this kind of quite heavy knitwear at the moment. Tried this on the other day, absolutely loved this particular style. Beautiful in it, very, very nice. Almost like a American style bowling shirt. You've got the embroidered preview logo on there. Again, color wise, you can be quite versatile with this. You could probably put, you could probably wear a pair of navy shorts, pull out the navy in here, or what I'm going to do, probably just wear a pair of black shorts and have that untucked for just a, a more casual vibe. But there we go. How long was that? Well, 15 minutes. That's not too bad. Not too bad. So, this is just a, a few pieces that I'd recommend this summer, like I said, this uh, particular sort of 70s, 80s style has, has been re-injected, which, which is nice. It's, it's a particular cut and style whereby it's quite nice around the shoulders and the arm, but it's also not too tight around the midsection, which is always cool. Um, and then you'll, I mean, you'll always have your vintage kind of where you, your Sergio's and your feelers aren't going anywhere, are they? So they'll be pretty staple each summer. Okay. I'm also a week out from my show. This time next week, I'll be all done and dusted. I'll be all done and dusted. What is the time? It's one o'clock. Probably be all wrapped up on my way home, with or without a trophy. Regardless, a Domino's will be about to get consumed. Hope you've enjoyed this video, this instalment. We'll have one more video after this one, and then we'll be off to my bear from my bear vlog. So yeah, looking forward to finally getting away. It's been a, been a long old prep, and uh, looking forward to a break and let me air down a little bit and enjoy myself. Okay, any questions? Hit them in the comment section below. I'm gonna leave the video there. Thank you, Gunnar. Much love.